Hey everybody, it's Mergo, and today in this one I just want to go over the quest line very quickly. Um, this is the quest line that opened up yesterday. It's the beginning quest to show what went wrong between the Horde and the Alliance, what's happening, and uh, the peace is burning up just like fire on a tree. So, let's get into it. The first thing will happen when you log on to any of your characters, you'll get a quest that prompts you to go talk to your faction leader, in this case the Alliance, Anduin Rin. So we turned in, in the Horde Uprising. Gonna have to report to Master Matthias Shaw once again. Wow, very far away. You can tell. All right, here we go. Our reports are wrong. Disturbance in Ashenvale. Gotta go to Ashenvale. Looks like there's a portal that's gonna take me right there. Easy peasy. Okay, so I have finished the quest line that is available for this week so far. And uh, didn't take very long at all 15 20 minutes. It wouldn't really matter what kind of character you're running with. Completely undergeared, max gear. It's not very long. You'll get through it quickly. Once you've finished the quest line, you will unlock world quests here in Darkshore. And these world quests offer you gear. The gear is scaled just like any other world quest, so it'll match roughly. For me, it matches what my item level is about right now. If you don't have any gear at all, I think this gear starts at 190. So that means um, you can gear up alts decently. It's almost on par with LFR gear from Antorus. If you look here, Antorus, LFR. You can see it's 195 starting and then gets all the way up to 205 for the later bosses. So it wouldn't be bad to gear up your alts with that. I can tell you from Battle for Azeroth, the starting gear quests are 185 item level, almost certain. So, it is technically better than the very, very beginning quests. It's, again, not necessity at all. You'll easily gear up and pass all that stuff in no time. If you want to do this quest line on your alts, though, to give them some kind of decent gear to begin with, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, at least one character should complete these, because at the end of the quest line, after the pre-patch event has completely launched and everything, right before Battle for Azeroth, you will be rewarded with an am amount for doing this quest line. Um, faction specific, of course. It's a hippogriff for the alliance and then plague bat for the horde. As for the mogs on these, these are not unique models, so you don't have to worry about it in that sense. If you were like, oh my gosh, I don't want to lose any of these. No, it's not a big deal. None of these are unique models. These match the salvage yard gear, I'm pretty sure, as well as boost gear. You get the same exact stuff if you boost a character all that so these are not unique models you don't have to worry about that now for the quest line itself alliance you help the night elves and their kin as to be expected protecting their home and their villages and stuff and as the horde you do the very morally gray thing of massacring innocent people and burning villages so you know the normal saturday afternoon all that kind of stuff anyways that's all there is next week we'll see what opens up what other quest lines are available? If they pop up, any more world quests, things like that, would be interesting to see. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Keep up to date with this quest line so you can make sure to get your mount before Battle for Azeroth launches. Anyways, I will see you again very soon. Bye bye.